Right, okay, what are we looking at? When your 11-year-old brother comes out the shower with wet hair and a towel round his waist. Who made this? Satire or not, this is really weird. I mean, what a strong way to start the video. I mean, just, ew. That relatable moment when you see your 11-year-old brother when he comes out the shower with a towel around his waist. I, I don't even want to think about this anymore. Get out. One of my classmates called me a vanphobic slur today, so I bit her hand. Turns out her parents are lawyers and they might sue because she contracted tetanus. Sure she did. I'm so effing sick of mortals. Right, imagine you go to school, a place which already sucks, and some turd comes up to you and bites you. What even is a vanphobic slur? If I was in school and someone bit me, I would be, I would be so done. I'd be like, I'm out of here. I'll educate myself because you guys suck. I mean, like I said, what even is a vanphobic slur? Get creative in the comments, Game of Virgins. I'm sure you will figure something out. What even is this one? At what temperature do you become gender solid? Gender solid. Oh my god. What the hell is even that? Right, hello Game of Virgins, my name's Ben, the Simp King, some call me Default Boy. It's all Gucci, whichever you prefer. Today we are looking at some cringe on TikTok, just some weird captions people put on there. So sit back, grab some spaghetti, like and subscribe, and enjoy the video. By the way, comment down below if you even use TikTok, or if you think it's cringe spaghetti, because I want to know. Anyone else kind of actually mentally insane like the Joker, lol? Wow, look at all the crazy going on right here. Imagine going to see the Batman film, and instead of the Joker saying, how, do you wanna know how I got these scars? It's just this girl going, you wanna know how I got these eyebrows? <laughs> I wanna apologize for this terrible artwork, because I know a lot of you are artists, and this, this is just terrible. I am so sorry. I caught my ex cheating on me by finding emails of him messaging men on Craigslist to suck their spaghetti. And when he was caught, he pretended to be a demon named Perfume and strangled me to get out of it. What? I, I literally have no words. So he got caught being gay and instead of coming clean, he said he was taken over by a demon named Perfume and strangled you. Okay, like, does this guy need help? Like, since when did coming out as gay be such a bad thing that you had to pretend you were taken over by a demon named Bafim? Bafim the gay demon. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> this is what I'm wearing to my aunt's wedding. What, what even is this? Like, there's a little bunny hood, a mask, I'd say it's a hat, but it looks like some hair. I don't- why would you wear this? If I- if this was my funeral, and someone turned up wearing like that, you better believe the default King Simp would rise from the dead and slap this fool. Get in the bin. <laughs> if Gen Z started their own country, oh my god. What if we had districts like in Hunger Games, we would make it so beautiful. Like district, skater vibes, nature, New York vibes, cottage core. Oi, Kay, you might be onto something. Cottage core. What even is that? Yo, bro, what's your vibe? Vibe check. Oh, cottage core. Imagine if it was just people who liked cottages. Uh, I, I actually googled it and it pretty much is exactly that. Well, I'll be damned. Cottage core is a fashion aesthetic promulgated by teenagers and young adults celebrating an idolized rural life. How does one even have this vibe? Homemade bread is considered part of the cottage core aesthetic. Imagine if people, a bunch of teenagers were just at a party being like, this party sucks, there's no homemade bread, let's go churn some butter. <laughs> Me explaining to my live stream how I'm an alien stuck on Earth. Like, where are these people living? And where are they from? What even is that on his head? It's like a tiny frisbee. I... What is going on here? You're probably from the planet Garbage Island. <laughs> what is this? If you want spaghetti, don't use elevators. They are made for spaghetti people. If you want spaghetti and you use them, you are albiest. What? I can't even understand that. But anyway, listen up, sinners. This is Bible study. If you've ever used an elevator, you are enabling people who can't use them to feel bad or something. 
Let me know on Twitter if you have ever used an elevator and I'll see what I can do to cleanse you of this truly awful sin. Is bleaching your hair blonde phobic? Blonde phobic? Um, imagine not liking someone because they have blonde hair. If you have blonde hair, watch out because you're already under attack and you don't even know it. Is that really, is that really where society is going that uh, apparently if you have a different colored hair, it's a bad thing? Oh my god. Does anybody know a spaghetti I could self-diagnose as that isn't too weird but lets me say slurs? <laughs> Man, these kids are so toxic. I mean, what would you even call someone who does this? We will name them right here. We're going to call these type of kids spaghetti muffins because that just sounds like a terrible thing and these kids suck. Bro, what is this? This looks like a potato. I wore this to school instead of an actual mask and got asked to go home. WTF. Not to sound like a bad guy and someone who's pretty level-headed when it comes to very serious situations like this. And to keep this channel suitable for absolute legends and YouTube's terms of services. But I would kick you down the stairs. <laughs> I'm joking. That was a joke. Kind of. Not really. No, I'm <laughs> I am joking. I am joking. I wouldn't kick anyone down the stairs. Or would I? <laughs> I would. I would probably do it. <laughs> when you get soap in your coochie. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't personally relate to this absolutely devastating issue. I mean, look at her face. It clearly sounds... Like an absolutely awful thing to experience. Th there's just there's just a bunch of comments on this TikTok just saying that's someone's mom. I mean, God, God damn, look at her face. How bad is it to get soap in your coochie? <laughs> like, clearly, I'm not going to be the one to experience. But it's just comments like, please know why. She's speaking the truth, though. This video is below us. Like, is it really that bad? Somebody let me know. Somebody who has experienced getting soap in your coochie. I don't want to say it anymore, but is it as bad as this woman's face is making it look like? I think I've seen this one before. Point of view. It's the 1950s and you see your African-American friend being beaten, but you have to act like you don't care. What? <laughs> what is this? These TikTok kids really like to go into detail. Like, who thinks that? Get in the bin. Like, what a weird thing. Imagine your family being like, hey, let me see your TikToks. And it's just you crying with this caption. God, that voice crack. <laughs> Once you get married, you technically start having spaghetti with your family. Okay, calm down, Dominic Toretto. Our teacher made us write poems in class today. She noticed I wasn't writing anything down and asked why I just smirked and told her she couldn't handle the dark poetry from my twisted mind. Needless to say, she left me alone after that. The okay, these kids suck. Getting braces as a kid is basically normalized cosmetic surgery. Well, you need to normalize getting a haircut because what is that? <laughs> Not sorry, that was mean. <laughs> That's going to be it for today's cringe talk video. The elevator one really stood out to me. It made me reflect on my life of sin and being lazy to not use stairs. I don't know how these kids on TikTok are so weird. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Message me on social media whenever you want. Tweet at me. I really do love interacting with you guys. It's probably one of the best things about being a YouTuber. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you Gamer Virgins next time.